Hello everyone. In today's video, I will continue the discussion on the sociological imagination of Siret Mills. In the previous video, I have briefly discussed about the sociological imagination and particularly the Siret Mills idea of the history and biography and the intersection of the history and biography for understanding the sociological imagination. That is, C. Wright Mill's so sociological imagination started with, uh, started with uh, these ideas of history and biography that we have discussed in the previous video that individuals, uh, individuals life he considered as a biography that is individual slips out in the society as biography and that again uh, situates or uh, holds a position in the historical sequence and those who have the sociological imagination or those who do sociological imagination they are able to they are able to understand the connection between the biography and the history so in this video i will continue this discussion and here sirite mills uh, put forwarded another idea sociological imagination start with uh, distinction start with making a distinction between two important things one is the personal trouble another one is the public issues now i shall discuss what is personal trouble and for what it is and what is the public issues and for what it is Personal trouble is basically, uh, basically individualistic. It is trouble. It is trouble for individual. That what individual faces in the everyday life. And what Mills described is that that when individual cherishes certain values, when individual cherishes certain values. And in a moment, he realizes he realizes that these values are under threat. These values are not getting fulfilled, or these values are under the threat of certain circumstance. So this particular situation is called trouble. This person is facing the trouble. The person is not able to fulfill what is desirable for him or her. And this, uh, well, I already discussed that this uh, trouble is the personal, trouble is individualistic. It is mainly for individual, that is individual who faces it. And mainly the individual who faces trouble within a particular domain. Then comes the, the second kind of, uh, second thing that is the social issues. Social issues uh, or that is public issues not exactly the social issues, but public issues. The public issues are mainly for the social structure. These are structural. How these are structural? Here also, C. Wright Mills is describing when the people cherish certain values and in a moment they feel that these values which they have cherished are under threat, are not getting fulfilled, are not getting, uh, not getting or not uh, not fulfilling the desired results so this particular situation is called the public issue so this public issue is mainly for the social structure that is for the greater the society where all other interconnected social institutions social systems and the elements are involved it's not that uh, the issue is only for a particular person or a particular group. It is for the entire social system. And this social system is a very interconnected whole. It's not one part, it's a whole, complete whole. So this public issue is mainly for the whole, the structure. Here I am putting example that also uh, highlighted by Mills. The issue of employment. The un uh, issue of unemployment. Unemployment is considered as trouble as well as 
a public issue. When the when uh, the problem of unemployment is there for a particular person or maybe a two person or three persons in a particular population, suppose uh, 10,000 in a place, suppose 10,000 populations are there and in out of 10,000 populations, two people or three persons or maybe five persons are facing unemployment. So this particular issue, uh, this particular problem is the trouble for these particular individuals because maybe for any uh, any specified reasons or maybe uh, without any reasons they are unemployed and they are uh, they are desert they are desert uh, the values are not being uh, not being fulfilled so they are having the trouble they are having the trouble in life because of their unemployment but same same population situation is different if the 50 percent of the population like out of 10,000 if 5,000 peoples are unemployed so that means this is not the personal trouble this is the public issue because the 50 percent of the populations are unemployed then when uh, then we have to understand other connected other allied the other allied fields domains institutions and systems associated with the social structure it's not that only issue has arisen from the personal problem of the people or personal problem of the population no there may be different issues issues may be related to economy may be related to the political system may be related to the the policy system may be related to any other geographical environmental uh, and the legal aspects legal the systems so the point is that so when this issue has confined two two three persons it was just the trouble when it has turned into a larger scale it has become the public issue so similarly uh, the problem of family the family uh, conflict or family feud uh, within a particular family may be the personal trouble but when we are considering the patriarchy suppose the patriarchal domination so this patriarchal domination is now no more a personal trouble it is a public issue why because the entire social structure is ridden with this patriarchal uh, narrative or patriarchal uh, domination so it's not only for a particular person or particular family or a couple who is facing the trouble called the patriarchal domination no the entire social system is uh, social system is getting uh, getting influenced by the patriarchal the system patriarchal domination so this is how this particular family problem is uh, trouble as well as a public issue in a society if there is no such issue called patriarchal domination the society is completely egalitarian there is no issue of domination there is no issue of subordination there is no issue of gender gap and if a, per a particular couple a particular family is having the issue like they are facing a kind of inequality a woman is facing inequality maybe woman, woman is facing suppressed or subordinated then it may be their own personal trouble so this is what the distinction between the trouble and uh, public issues so sociological imagination start with this distinction so here interesting point is that the sociological imagination is not something which is very superficial it is not something which in ready-made form you can imbibe through a certain degree through a certain training through a certain workshop no it is a practice it is a kind of the thought process which 
one individual can imbibe, which one individual can impart. So, the superficial understanding of a particular problem, particular phenomena, particular matter in the society is out of the sociological imagination. And if it is out of the sociological imagination, then it has no place in the sociological world. So, sociological understanding, sociological uh, research must have the sociological imagination. And what sociological imagination that we have briefly mentioned, briefly discussed in this particular point of the distinction between trouble and the public issues. Now, I will uh, highlight the C. Wright Mill's description of the description of the present situation, or the description of the present condition of the world or the society we can say. That is how we can understand the present society or present condition of the society. So, based on this personal trouble and the public issues, he mentioned about four situation. He mentioned about four situation, four situations that may arise or that may exist or prevails in a particular society. One is well-being, well-being. So, when this well-being uh, emerges or well-being may prevails, when people, the public cherishes certain values and they do not feel any threat for these values. There is whatever desire they have felt, whatever desire, desired things they have, uh, they have imbibed or desired things they have adopted in their life or they have presumed in their life are not under threat. This is called well-being that this public are in the condition of well-being. Another situation, there is second situation that may prevails in the society is called the crisis. Crisis is a situation when the public cherishes certain values, certain desired things, certain things which they have presumed, which they have adopted in their life, which they feel are desirable to be part in their life, but these are under threat. They realized that these are under threat. This situation can be considered as, this situation can be considered as crisis. That means public are in the crisis. That means whatever they have desired are not getting fulfilled. Third situation that may prevails in the society is indifference. Indifference is a situation when the public do not have any cherished values and they are not also aware about any threat of these cherished values because they do not have any cherished values and uh, no the realization of the threat. That means ultimately they are unconscious. That's what about the situation it may be. They are not aware about it. They are not conscious about it. This is basically, it is basically the situation where the public are unconscious, unconscious about the situation, unconscious about the society. Fourth situation that may prevail in the society is the uneasiness. Uneasiness is the situation where publics do not have any desired or any cherished values, but again they feel that their values are under threat. They have not cherished any values, they have not, uh, they have not uh, desired for, they have not inculcated any uh, desired values for their everyday life. But again, they are feeling, they are realizing that these are under threat. This is called uneasiness. That is, this fourth situation is the uneasiness. So, uneasiness is a situation where Publics do not have any cherished values, but again they are feeling threatened. So, according to Sirat Mills, these are the four situations that will prevail in the society. And sociological imagination, 
सोशोलॉजिकल इमेजिनेशन कैन कैन एसेस कैन एग्जामाइन द सोसाइटी कैन एग्जामाइन द प्रेजेंट कंडीशन एंड ही आल्सो पॉइंटेड आउट दैट द प्रेजेंट सोसाइटी दिस प्रेजेंट सोसाइटी इज बेसिकली फेसिंग द इनडिफरेंस एंड अनइजीनेस दैट मींस the public are unaware about their cherished values and the threat whatever issues they are facing whatever uh, problems they are facing are not the problems for them because they don't have they don't have any cherished values so without any cherished values they cannot imagine they cannot imagine the threat of their values their cherished values so whatever problem or issues are going on uh which are considered as a part of the rationality part of the development process part of the modernization part of the the industrialization it is being justified legitimized so they are not able to realize that their values their the desired uh, their desired life their desired the activities of life are under threat because they have not cherished any kind of values so whatever issues are going on that any particular sociologist or particular person with sociological imagination can examine can uh, can highlight but publics are not able to do it so they are basically in a state of unconscious condition another situation is uneasiness what is being facing by the today's society according to sir at mills so they have not cherished any values but sometimes they feel that they are under threat because of certain issues which becomes more louder which becomes more destructive more massive maybe because of industrial disaster maybe because of excessive exploitation because of exp- exp- uh, excessive domination of the industry excessive domination of the of the technology and many issues which are hampering them but they have not cherished any kind of values so they are now feeling uneasy how to how to deal with this so this is how the situations may prevail in the society but the publics are unaware about publics are not able to grasp these situations it is the people it is the person it is the sociologist maybe with sociological imagination can understand the situation so this is what cedrat mills highlighted and this particular aspect i have highlighted in this particular video and i will continue the discussion in the next video thank you very much for watching